Do you know what it takes to build trust in a relationship? Trust is the cornerstone of any relationship, the invisible glue that binds two hearts together. It's not just about believing in your partner's words, but also relying on their actions, their consistency, their honesty. It's about feeling safe both emotionally and physically, knowing that you're in a supportive and non-judgmental environment. But building trust? Well, it doesn't happen overnight. It requires intentional effort and unwavering commitment from both partners. It's like constructing a bridge, one brick at a time, laying a strong foundation, and then adding layers, strengthening the bond, ensuring it can weather any storm that comes its way. And the beauty of it all? This process enriches the relationship, deepens the emotional connection, and fosters a bond that's strong, enduring, and precious. Understanding how to build trust can transform your relationship, so shall we dive into the process? Communication stands as the foundation in building trust. Imagine a house built on sand. It's shaky, unstable, and likely to collapse with the slightest pressure. Now replace that sand with solid rock, firm and unyielding. That rock is communication, providing a sturdy base upon which a relationship can thrive. In the architectural masterpiece that is a relationship, every brick, every beam counts. Each word spoken, each sentiment shared, contributes to the structure's integrity. But the key lies not just in speaking but in the quality of what is said. Openly discussing expectations, concerns, and boundaries is akin to selecting the finest materials for our relationship edifice. It's about laying everything on the table, being clear about what you want, what you need, and what you're worried about. Think of it as a blueprint for your shared future. With clarity, you're less likely to encounter nasty surprises down the road. You're not just building for today, but for tomorrow, next week, next year, and hopefully for a lifetime. Being open about your expectations helps your partner understand you better, which in turn fosters a sense of transparency. Transparency in this context is like a glass wall. It allows you to see into the heart of your partner, to understand their thoughts, their fears, their dreams. It's about being able to look at each other, without any barriers, without any pretenses. This kind of transparency is liberating. It eliminates guesswork and assumptions, replacing them with understanding and acceptance. However, communication is a two-way street. It's not just about expressing yourself, but also about listening to your partner. It's about giving them the space to voice their thoughts, their concerns, their hopes. It's about understanding their point of view, their perspective. Listening promotes empathy and fosters a sense of mutual respect. So, if you're looking to build trust in your relationship, start by establishing a strong line of communication. Speak, but also listen. Be open about your expectations, but also understand your partners. Promote transparency, but also respect privacy. So remember, good communication is the first step to building trust. Ever heard of the saying, honesty is the best policy? Well, it certainly applies in relationships too. Let's delve into the world of honesty and trust. Picture a house. Honesty is the foundation upon which the walls of trust are built. Without a solid foundation, no matter how beautiful the house, it is prone to collapse. The same principle applies to relationships. Honesty lays the groundwork for trust, and trust, in turn, fortifies that relationship. Consider this. You've had a long day, your partner asks how you're doing, and you respond with a simple, I'm fine, even though you're far from it. This might seem like a small, harmless lie, but let's dig a little deeper. What you're actually doing is creating a facade, a barrier that prevents your partner from truly understanding what's going on with you. This might cause them to feel disconnected, and over time, it could erode the trust between you. Now let's flip the script. Imagine you decide to be honest about your feelings. You tell your partner about your challenging day, and in response, they offer comfort and understanding. This honesty not only fosters trust, but also deepens your emotional connection. Honesty also plays a significant role in setting and respecting boundaries. When you openly communicate your needs and limitations, it shows your partner that you trust them with your vulnerability. This encourages them to do the same, consequently reinforcing the trust between you. And let's not forget, honesty isn't just about words, it's about actions too. Being reliable and consistent in your actions shows your partner that you are someone they can count on, someone they can trust. It's about showing up when you say you will, following through with your commitments, and being there for your partner in times of need. It's clear that honesty isn't always easy. It requires courage, vulnerability, and authenticity. But the rewards are immense. It's the bridge that connects two hearts, the glue that binds two souls, 
and the key that unlocks a world of trust and intimacy. Honesty, therefore, isn't just a virtue, it's a trust builder in a relationship. Listening is more than just hearing. It's about understanding and empathizing. Imagine this, you're sharing a story or expressing a concern, and the person you're speaking to is fully engaged. They're not interrupting, not checking their phone, but are truly present, showing genuine interest in what you're saying. That's active listening, and it's a game changer in relationship dynamics. Active listening is all about giving undivided attention to your partner. It's about understanding their perspective and acknowledging their feelings. It's not about formulating your response while they're still speaking or thinking about what you're going to have for dinner. It's about being fully present in the moment, showing your partner that their thoughts and feelings are valued and important. Empathy, on the other hand, is about putting yourself in your partner's shoes. It's about understanding their emotions, not from your viewpoint, but from theirs. It's about feeling their joy, their pain, their fears, and their hopes as if they were your own. Empathy isn't about agreeing with your partner all the time, but it's about validating their emotions, showing them that you understand and respect their feelings. Active listening and empathy go hand in hand. When you actively listen, you're in a better position to empathize, and when you empathize, your active listening skills become more effective. Together, they create a powerful duo that can significantly enhance trust in a relationship. Imagine a relationship where both partners feel heard, understood, and respected, where both partners feel that their emotions matter. That's a relationship where trust thrives. Because when you actively listen and empathize, you're not just communicating that you care about your partner, but also that you're committed to understanding them on a deeper level. So the next time your partner shares something with you, remember to listen actively and empathize. Show them that you're there for them, not just physically, but emotionally as well. Let them know that their words, their feelings, and their experiences matter to you. Active listening and empathy aren't just skills. They're pillars of trust in a relationship. Trust grows with consistency and support. These two elements are like the glue that holds the intricate puzzle of a relationship together, tying all the other elements we've discussed, communication, honesty, empathy, into a cohesive whole. Let's start with consistency. It's one thing to say you'll do something or to act a certain way, but it's another to follow through on those words and actions time and time again. Consistency is about being reliable, about showing your partner they can depend on you, not just in the big moments, but in the day-to-day. -day. It's about demonstrating that you're someone who sticks to their commitments, who does what they say they'll do. This consistency and behavior builds a foundation of trust because it shows your partner that you're not just all talk, but action too. But consistency alone isn't enough. It needs to be coupled with support. Support in a relationship is about creating a safe and non-judgmental environment where both partners feel comfortable being themselves, expressing their feelings, and sharing their vulnerabilities. It's about being there for each other, not just in the good times, but also in the bad. When we feel supported, we feel understood and valued. This sense of support fosters deeper emotional intimacy as it encourages openness and vulnerability, allowing us to show our true selves to our partners without fear of judgment or rejection. Now, imagine a relationship where both partners are consistent in their actions and supportive of each other. It's a relationship where trust thrives, where both partners feel secure and valued. It's a relationship where both parties can be themselves, express their feelings, and rely on each other. It's a relationship built on a strong foundation of trust. In the end, it all boils down to this. Trust isn't something that just happens. It's something you build, something you nurture, and something you protect. And one of the best ways to do that is through consistency and support. Consistency and support, thus, are key ingredients in the recipe for trust. Ignoring a problem doesn't make it go away. In fact, it can erode trust. That's a hard truth many of us have learned the hard way. When it comes to building trust in relationships, the importance of proactive problem solving cannot be overstated. Let's break it down. When issues arise, and they inevitably will, acknowledging them promptly is the first step. This isn't about assigning blame or sweeping things under the rug. It's about saying, I see this, it's real, let's deal with it. Next, we address these issues head on. This might involve uncomfortable conversations or confronting our own shortcomings. But remember, it's not just about resolving the issue at hand. It's about demonstrating to your partner that you're committed to the health of the relationship, even when things get tough. 
This process of prompt acknowledgement and direct addressing allows for constructive resolution. It reinforces trust, showing that you're reliable in times of conflict and tension. Proactive problem solving, therefore, isn't just about resolving issues, it's about building trust. Building trust in a relationship isn't an overnight process. It's a journey, a beautiful dance between two souls that requires intentionality, commitment, and a whole lot of love. We've walked through the importance of open communication, a cornerstone in every relationship. We've talked about honesty and its role in building a solid foundation of trust. Remember, your words and actions should be like a mirror, reflecting the truth of who you are and what you stand for. We've explored empathy and active listening, vital tools that validate feelings and strengthen emotional connections. We touched on the significance of consistency and support, reassuring your partner of your reliability and dependability. We also discussed proactive problem solving, not avoiding or dismissing issues, but addressing them promptly and constructively. All these elements when combined can help you foster a bond that's not just strong, but resilient and enduring. So keep these points in mind and you'll be well on your way to building a relationship that's not just strong, but also filled with trust.